What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Player Profile. Today we're focusing on uh, Sean Couturier, the Philadelphia Flyers, and what the uh, skilled Drummondville Volunteers uh, product will offer fans in Philly for years to come. Obviously, rookie this year, the Flyers, uh, kind of a surprise, made it out of camp after going eighth overall uh, in the 2011 draft with a pick that uh, they acquired from Columbus in the Jeff Carter deal. Um, big skilled center, has 24 points in 68 games, filling a number of different roles throughout the lineup. Uh, he's you know on the penalty kill, playing some power play time, and uh, you know really making the most of what ice time he can get. And uh, you know a veteran team like that, having a teenager on the team, is uh, you know pretty rare. But you know he's he's earned it. Uh, born in Phoenix, Arizona, because his father was a uh, career minor leaguer, played some games on the show, but uh, never had the skating ability that his son Sean has. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Last year in Drummondville, well, each of the last two years had 96 points and uh, 68 games in 20, uh, 2010 and uh, 58 games last year. Uh, played seven, played in the World Juniors last year and had uh, three points in seven games as the youngest player of the team. He was actually the only draft-eligible player in that team, which when you look about the talents, uh, you know, Ryan, El Ryan Nugent Hopkins, guys like that, they... Uh, you know, him not, those guys not making it and him making it. It's a pretty uh, testament to his skill and two-way ability. Uh, long term, I think he's going to be a combination of uh, Vinny LeCavalier and Patrice Bergeron. Uh, you know, obviously both big skilled centers from the Quebec Major Junior League. Um, you know, good size, good leadership abilities like LeCavalier, and a good two-way game like Bergeron. I think he's going to be a little more polished offensively than Bergey. But uh, obviously LeCavalier, when he was in his heyday, um, you know, Five or six years ago, with Tampa, he was a fifty goal scorer, hundred point guy. Uh, you know, I don't think I think he, he could be. I mean, you no, know, he's got he's definitely got the skill and the ability. Um, obviously Philly plays a lot more of a sound defensive game than Tampa did those years. So, you know, scoring chances may not be there, but I think he'll capitalize on what scoring chances he does get, and uh, definitely be a perennial thirty or forty goal guy. And I think he will, could peak at forty five or fifty at some point, kind of like Lecavalier. Yeah, if you look at Vinny's, Vinny's career as a player, like how he is, he's a perennial 30-goal guy that had a 50-goal season that, uh, you know, kind of raised expectations of the game. And, I mean, he's, he's had some really good numbers over the years. I'm not going to knock uh, Vinny at all. But, you know, it is what it is with him. And I think Kachori is going to be a similar player. And on the going back to the Patrice Bergeron thing, you know, having the sound two-way ability uh, makes you all that more of a valuable commodity to your team and uh, earns your respect league wide. So um, let's see what he, let's see what he turns into. Be I'm really excited to see uh, what he's gonna do long term. Uh, that's it for this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Play a profile on Philadelphia Flyers center Sean Couturier. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season. Later, guys.